The Nike Vomera 13 is the latest model of the line that to my belief has gone through the biggest changes over the years ever since they first came out back in 2006. They were created for high mileage runners by packing them with the best technology Nike has to offer. I have never owned a previous model of these so I really had to do some research so I can get the best description that I can give you. But all the websites had different descriptions. So I don't know which one is the most accurate. So if I'm wrong about something that I tell you, please feel free to correct me down in the comments. Nike.com had five colorways on their website to choose from. I went with the deep burgundy, university red, white, total crimson, and black. These look really nice online, but they look even better in person. The upper materials were described differently by all the websites. Nike calls it a knit upper while others call it a modified engineered mesh and others call it a circular knit mesh. Nike, if you're watching, this was a very vague description. Please update it on your website. Either way, it was engineered to be a ventilated and supportive fit. They claim it's lightweight and breathable. I did notice a double layer when I was taking a closer look at them. Under the main upper material, there is a very thin separate layer underneath it. It feels like two separate layers, but if I'm wrong, like I said, please correct me. Just by feeling the upper materials, I say they feel pretty durable. Also, just by experience, I say flexibility will not be an issue at all. I really like the design of these and the color scheme a lot. Also in the back, they have two reflective deals located on the very large heel plate. That's what I did notice when I was feeling around the shoes when I took them out. Pretty nice. The oval laces are the same as the zoom structures, lengthy, durable, and easy to tie, by the looks of it, at least. I don't know. These were barely taken out of the box. Yeah, they're about the same as the zoom structures. They are supported by a wide version of the fly wire that provides excellent support. The top two laces, they call the bottom ones the top two, but whatever, right? Uh, they do not have fly wire. Nike claims that is to allow flexibility and a more natural feel on the forefoot. The removable insole is flexible and it is five millimeters if you are curious. The tongue is heavily padded. The lining or collar is about average as far as thickness goes. It is also very nice and soft. The heel is the most padded. Yeah, it's very padded out of any shoe I've had so far. I am really curious how they're going to feel or react with all the different socks I use to test shoes out. The main material in the midsole is Lunar Lawn, but it also has Zoom Air in the heel and in the forefoot for extra responsive cushioning. These pressurized air pockets flex on contact and on top of all that, they have a Cushlon carrier foam that is supposed to deliver a plush and resilient cushioning with a smooth heel to toe transfer whether you're a heel striker or a four foot runner. What does that mean? Guys, this is like buying a very nice mattress with a mattress liner and two pillows, one for your feet and one for your head. All in one. It sounds like a complete package. I'm really excited about trying these on. The outsole is made from Dura DS rubber, providing multi-surface traction and impact protection and covers most of the outsole except the heel. And the heel is made out of BRS 1000 carbon, uh, not carbon fiber, carbon rubber designed for durable traction. Once I put these on, I'm gonna start running a lot of these but I will do a 5K test as fast as I can for this ultimate performance test. I will also run a 100 meter sprint as fast as I can. In between all that, I will climb and descend thousands of stairs and hundreds of hills as well. I will test them on every single surface possible for you, rain or shine. I will wear them at home, uh, take them to work, to the movies, parties and everything in between. I am going to punish them so hard, the Vomero 14s will be sore. Will the Vomero 13s be in addition to my half marathon training arsenal? Will all of Nike's best technology combined make them worth the hefty price? There's only one way to find out. 
Just got a fresh haircut. I don't have any shoes on right now. It looks pretty nice outside. But like I said, rain or shine, right? I did say I was gonna run a half marathon in under two hours. I'm usually a man of my word. So if I wanna talk hard, I gotta work hard. And I can get pretty serious whenever I want to. I'm ready to go. I hope they're ready to go as well. Let's get started.
That was the ultimate performance test of the Nike Vomero 13. I wore them for 14 days straight, and in those 14 days, according to my Fitbit, I put on 309,008 steps. I would say about 80 to 85% of the time that was uh, of those steps were with these shoes. Okay, let's make this quick, but before I get into detail on the performance or my experience with these shoes, I have two complaints that I just wanna get off my chest and then we'll keep it moving. So I tested these shoes for 14 days, like I said, and throughout the course of those 14 days, I wore different socks from these thin ones that I wear just to get the complete feel, feel of the shoes and some running socks, some soccer socks, and some thick basketball socks. And the first complaint is that they squeak. In every surface, no matter what socks, look, listen for yourself. Okay, so that was the squeaking. I don't think it had anything to do with the outsole or the midsole. I think it had something to do with the upper materials, which leads to my second complaint. There was a lot of room, extra room in the toe box area, not width wise or not length wise, but I think height wise. It just felt like I had too much room and it was very annoying. But other than that, they were fine. So let's keep it moving. I know I just complained about the upper materials, but that was just the toe box. Overall, the circular knit mesh or whatever they want to call it was excellent. It was tough. It's a very durable material, flexible. Um, breathability, I would say on a scale from one to 10, I would say a two, not that breathable, but excellent, trust me. Also the Flywire, it is one of my favorite features of any Nike shoes, anything that has Flywire, I'll never complain. Also the laces were excellent, great feel, great length, and they never came untied. The tongue was, yeah, it's nicely padded, it's kind of thick, but it never bothered me, it was nice nice the collar excellent like I said remember I told you that uh, it was very padded right here what well, it never made my socks right down it never gave me blisters or anything like that the heel plate was excellent overall my foot felt secure the whole time no matter what I did the outsole performed really well on every surface I tried on except one only because it was wet check it out I don't know what type of surface that was, but when it's wet, it's very slippery, extremely slippery, I might say. But when it is dry, it's very grippy. Awesome, no complaints about the outsole whatsoever. Oh, it's very durable. I think I put on about 26 lock miles, but like I said, 309,000 steps. Oh shoot, oops. <laughs> the outsole still looks excellent. Now, I saved the midsole for last because this is what drew me to the Nike Vomero 13s. The combination of Lunar Lawn, Kush Lawn, and Zoom Air was excellent. They performed as good as I thought they were. Just walking around, they felt really plush, so I was really excited when I was gonna run. So when I ran the 5K, that wasn't the first time I ran, but when I tested them out, man, let me tell you, they felt great. Now, the only drawback is that it's a lot of technology, so it added weight. Out of all the reviews I've done so far, these are the heaviest pair of shoes I've done, or have had so far. But I can oversee that, it's fine. No issues at all. Carrying my backpack with a bunch of weight, man, these felt great. I never once felt any pain in my heels, my toes, my legs, my back, my feet, my knees, no shin splints, no cramps, or anything like that. I think the that was a great combination, great idea by Nike. All right, so that about wraps it up. The training montage that you saw was a lot of fun. I had a lot of fun training with the Nike Bomero 13s. It was very cold the whole time. It was windy, I was miserable, but at the same time, I was happy. Now, I would not waste my time trying these indoors. Are you kidding? <laughs> not worth my time. They're too versatile. And I am also trying to run a half marathon in under two hours. Are these gonna be my marathon shoes? No, of course not. But they will be 
part of my arsenal to train so I can run the half marathon in under two hours. I don't know if it's going to be the next one or the following, but one day I will. That's my goal before I do anything else. So the Nike Bomero 13s, excellent shoes, totally worth your money. Thank you very much for watching. Steve Zilla out.